Welcome aboard the BioTrain. In this video, we're going to talk about the difference between the phenotypes of a single gene trait and the phenotypes of a multi-gene trait. Let's look at the phenotypes for a single gene trait first. This graph represents the frequency of the possible phenotypes. And notice there are only two phenotypes. In this case, they're using widow's peak as an example of a single gene trait. There's either a widow's peak is present or no widow's peak is present. There's only two possible phenotypes. Now let's compare that to phenotypes for polygenic traits. Polygenic traits are traits that are controlled by more than one gene. So the inheritance patterns are more complex and there are more possible phenotypes because there are more possible ways that the genes can be combined together. In the example here, we have the phenotype height. Notice how the phenotype is distributed over a bell-shaped curve, meaning that most of the individuals have the average phenotype, and if you go above average, the frequency of the phenotype drops off as the individuals get taller and taller. The same thing happens if you go below the average, the frequency of the phenotype drops off as you get shorter and shorter. I hope that helps you stay comfortably seated on the biotrain.